During the afternoon of May 17th, I had the privilege of interviewing a distinguished young 99-year-old World War II veteran. When I arrived at Floyd Van Alstyne's East Barnard Farm, it was as though I'd stepped into another world. It was the sort of world one associates with an earlier time, a time devoted to duty, honor, and country. Standing beneath the large American flag that hangs high over his farm, Mr. Van Alstyne represents the best of America. The scene quickly enveloped me with a sense of peace and tranquility. But I wasn't there to admire the idyllic pastoral setting. I was there to relive Sergeant Van Alstyne's memories of World War II. Naples, Italy. Well, that probably was about the 5th of October. See that? Yeah. That was the end where shrapnel went through it. And the irony is, I, I get my birthday, two days later, shrapnel hit me on the helmet, which kind of, kind of was fairly spent shrapnel, but it was enough to make my head sing a bit and hit I knocked the helmet off my head because you didn't use a chin strap for that reason. And then later shrapnel came in, you could see the results of that. And Saint Peter didn't want me. That's what it boils down to. Mr. Van Alstyne's account of his transatlantic journey was graphic and sobering to someone who's only known a life of peace and security. German submarines picked off ships from his convoy with deadly efficiency. Those who made it to North Africa felt lucky, but for many aboard the ships, their luck would be short-lived. That was in Naples. The ship tipping That's over. a ship sunk. That got torpedoed, and I saw, the, saw it when it blew up it, north of us, just over the horizon. I saw the tremendous ball of fire. Out of 202 crewmen on a destroyer, I think there were 71 survived. So you made the best of it. You got you that way. You didn't like it? Of course you didn't like it. Sergeant Van Alstyne remained on duty for the duration of the war, returning home and getting discharged from Camp Edwards on November 2, 1945. On November 17th of 1945, he purchased his East Barnard farm of 256 acres for $3,600. The farm has been there since the 1860s and remains active today. To this day, Mr. Van Alstyne and his wife live the lives of farmers, just like on television. On my pail, I tripped and slipped in the snow and I spilt the whole pail full of cracked corn. <laughs> oh, so that's good eating for them. <laughs> Mother! What? I'm with five kids. Did I ever change diapers? I don't think you ever did. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Fenton, Heartfelt News, East Barnard.